of the world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio program. Raw and uncut, Jiggy Jag, you know how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it all the way live. Broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Well, I'm sitting here with a linguist. I had a linguist. no idea. <laughs> I love I didn't that. know you were a term, but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. 267 22 Jiggy. Daddy Monday. Hey, Jiggy, what's happening, man? You must be that uh, <laughs> David Bowie song. Jiggy play guitar. Jeff. It's a great name. I'm just going to jump in. Jiggy play guitar. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw Well, forget about the. Uh... <laughs> about the intro we are just gonna go to our guest <laughs> we are just gonna go to our guest forget about the intro forget about what you've heard <laughs> we are and apparently now our guest is not available <laughs> so we're gonna try this again <laughs> Oh, it's morning in America, my friends. Morning in America. And I believe we might have our guest with us. He uh, joins us live here on our big broadcast. Welcome to it, of course. Thanks for tuning in to the big broadcast from KJ Radio Studios. In downtown Edges of Kansas, Monday through Friday, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific, and 1 p.m. Mountain Standard. And, of course, 24-7 at JiggyJaguar.com. On the TuneIn apps, on-demand podcasts are available via the iHeartRadio network. And, of course... 50 plus AM FM stations across the country and around the world. And we have got a great guest joining us today on the old Skip Skype. Vince, welcome to the program. How are you, sir? I'm great. How are you? Pretty good, actually. Pretty good, actually. Uh, you have got quite the products, and I want to talk about them today here on our program. Um, we've got Vince Saunders with us today for an American shaman. Of course, he founded CBD American Shaman in 2014 in Kansas City, Missouri as an alternative medicine for cancer patients. And since then, Vince has built CBD American Shaman into a team of doctors, chemists, lawyers, advocates, and he's pioneered the use of nanotechnology in the hemp industry to enhance the planet's health supporting effects and to increase the bioavailability of CBD. And he joins today here on the old Skip Skype, the old Skype Rooney. And uh, uh, in the interest of full disclosure, by the way, before we get this going, American Shaman CBD, they, uh, at least the local uh, Hutchinson chapter, they sponsored our uh, smoker fights a few years ago. And that wor worked out really well for everybody. So, uh, Vince, welcome to the program. How are you, sir? I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm glad that uh, you had some experience with us. I didn't even know that. Yes, yes. I would, you know, I would love to do more stuff with you, but we can talk about that off air. Sure. Um, sure. So, so Vince, um, they they sent me some samples of of your products. I tried them fairly recently, and I'll tell you, this CBD stuff, um, you take it right before bed, it knocks you out, my friend. Good stuff. It, it works. It does. For a lot of people, <laughs> CBD greatly it helps yeah, your sleep. Now, we do have a product specifically for sleep called CBN or CB Night. Yes. It's a different cannabinoid. Now, uh, talk to us about how you built this thing in, into a uh, into the monster that it is, my friend. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, kind of a, an organic thing. You know, there was no master plan to this. It just... Uh, amazingly kind of happened. I mean, obviously we made the right moves and, and we're right on our feet and, and continued to grow as we saw opportunity. But as you mentioned, you know, it started off, you know, literally just trying to, to help a, a loved one. Uh, and as, as I really figured out, you know, the science of CBD, if you will, uh, turned into, you know, something that I wanted to get to the world and, and to experience. And as it kind of started to, to take hold, uh, we had in 2016, we had a, a store open that was specifically just, you know, shaman products. Yeah. Uh, and then that grew into the franchise model, uh, which we started April 1st of 2018 uh, and expanded to over 400 stores across 38 states. Uh, we continue to grow. We do other wholesale. Uh, we do online 
Uh, <clears throat> we manufacture bulk products. We have some mass market products uh, like drinks and smokes that are available at you know wow. C stores, smoke shops. Uh, so yeah, we we've, we've experienced an explosive growth rate, and you know we've really done it by a variety of ways. A always leading by science, trying to make the very best product humanly possible. And, and that's a lot more difficult than what you might think. You know, there's, there's so many small CBD companies out there, the kind of garage operations that, you know, it, it's an oil-based product. You blend it with a little oil, you put it in the bottle and you get a dropper and there you go. But <clears throat> as you start to realize that it's not very bioavailable, that's what took us, of course, as you mentioned, into the nanotechnology. Yeah. Because you take an oil-based product, literally only 10% of it is absorbed, and that's if you hold it under your tongue for 90 seconds. Yes. The other 90%, yes. yeah, the other 90 literally gets flushed down the stool. Um, and I'm pretty sure nobody would be happy with an exchange if you handed somebody a $10 bill and they gave you back one. <laughs> that's what's going on. <laughs> And that's, you know, and knowing that, that's what literally led us into the nanotechnology, which was a game changer. It made CBD affordable, effective, longer lasting, um, you know, worked faster, worked longer. You've got your money's worth. And that was a big game changer. And, and that's when we started bringing in chemists and doctors. And, and it, it has become what it is. You know, we, we have a number of human trials and animal trials going on right now. Uh, we had just finished a liver toxicity study um, that should be presented to the FDA within the next 60 days. Holy smokes. Eight, yeah, 804 people. Uh, that data will be finished being compiled uh, or about the next 60 days and turned into the FDA. Um, <clears throat> we have a number of different animal projects going. Um, we, you know, bioavailability wise, we, we have some potential pharma type products. Um, the difficult part is we would really rather keep it to where it was available as a supplement and just yeah. over the counter. Uh, you know, the idea that you have to go to a physician to get a prescription for it is not appealing to us. Yeah. But it, if that's an alternative method, depending upon what the FDA does, uh, getting out there, you know, we might have to pursue something like that. Awesome. Awesome. We have got a, a tremendous guest joining us today here in our big program. Uh, Vince Sanders is with us. He is from American Shaman CBD. And uh, so something else that I want to get your thoughts on is, is uh, and this, this, <laughs> this is amazing. You guys are working on some of these things. Moon rockets, moon rocks, and some of the other innovations. I want to hear what American Shaman is up to. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, interestingly enough, there, there is a large demand for smokable hemp. Yes. Uh, Honestly, when it first started, I thought, well, it was kitschy. It was just, you know, it was, wouldn't last. But it is yeah. a very fast-growing market. People really enjoy smoking the product. And, and, of course, when you smoke it, the effects are instant. Their effect of the bioavailability is very high. Uh, so at that point, we started developing a lot of different smokable products. You know, the, the Moon Rocks is a, a hemp flower bud or a CBG bud, a different cannabinoid. That is then coated with a distillate, a high percentage oil, and then rolled in a keef. Uh, keef, essentially, you take a, the bud or the flower, you put it with dry ice, and it shock freezes it in the trichomes. The active parts of that bud fall off. So that makes a very high wow. percentage. Yeah, and you, you roll it in. It's a lot of manual labor. Um, the idea of a, a moon rock comes from the you know marijuana industry. Yes. Uh, so we adapted it to CBD and CBG. And then a moon rocket is a pre-rolled cone, the same principle. You put a distillate oil on the outside of the paper, and then you roll that in that freeze-dried keef. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it, You've, it, 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 you've it, got some really cool amazing. stuff happening, my man. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, no, on the, the smokable front is... Um, kind of amazing it's growing very rapidly as you had mentioned early on you know, we do have the, the shaman smokes which are just an alternate you know to a tobacco-based cigarette yeah now and, uh you know, let's let's talk a little bit about that these uh yeah. these these shaman smokes as far as the value and everything and the availability of 100 percent all natural hemp this seems to be a game changer my friend tell us a little bit about this Absolutely. Yeah. So we developed a 
you know, a tobacco cigarette replacement, essentially, in the smoke. Uh, it looks just like a cigarette, same filter, same paper. Uh, we have 20 packs, and we have four-pack samplers. And it is filled with two different types of hemp, actually four different strains, to be exact. And it's basically a blend of CBG, which is a stimulant type effect, and CBD, which is a relaxing effect, yeah. to mimic tobacco. Tobacco relaxes you, but it also gives you energy. That's yes. why you know, a lot of people take cigarette breaks. It pumps them up and yep. relaxes them. Like yep. break. And knowing that that was the market we were after, it, we took about a year of R&D to get just the right strains and blends to replicate that experience. So, I mean, we're beyond happy uh, with the blend that we finally came up with. You're also dealing with a, a different type of organic product. Uh, cannabis is in a, a bud or flower that is dried and very crumbly. Tobacco is a leaf that is more flexible and it's cut into strips. So to get that to burn the same way took uh, a lot of experimenting as well. We ended up blending it into four different particle sizes that are then blended in a tumbler so that that will burn at the same rate as tobacco in the same manner and not run on one side or the other. It was a much, much more complicated uh, product to develop than you would have guessed. Really? That is yeah. that is amazing. Uh, Vince Sanders with us today. American Shaman. He joins us today here on Skype. And uh, so let's talk a little bit now about the nanotechnology and yep. cannabinoids and, and, and some of these various things. Uh, because you you guys have done some amazing things with this. Um, talk, to me, talk to me a little bit about the nanotechnology and why it makes a difference in the cannabinoids. Absolutely. So it really comes down to particle size and fat. So your body doesn't absorb fats very well. Uh, yeah. It's a kind of a complicated procedure where it lays in, in your intestine, your gallbladder makes acids and other substances that blend with it, make basically make an emulsification so that you can absorb it at all. So yeah. therefore, they're very slow and only about 10% get absorbed. Actually, once it's in your gut, only about 6%. Wow. What we've done, yeah, so it comes down a lot of it to particle size. If you get a particle small enough, your body can't stop it from getting in. The one of the big reasons why fats wow. are absorbed very well is the, the particle size. It's a lipid ball, which is quite large, 12 to 1300 nanometers. Um, <clears throat> that doesn't mean a lot to most people, probably, but that, that is a fairly large droplet as, as food particles go. Yeah. Uh, what we do is we break that down to the molecular level under 100 nanometers, on average about 55 nanometers, wow. and a surfactant surrounds that to keep it in at that size so it doesn't, you know, oil one little drop touches a little drop and it it grows, and that is just put into a water base that you can put in any liquid and you just drink it. And due to that tiny tiny particle, smaller than most viruses, to give you an idea. Your body simply can't stop it from getting in. So whatever you ingest, you're going to absorb. So they, not only do you get up in there that 90, 100% bioavailability, but it's extremely fast acting. It, those particles are so small that as you're drinking it, they're literally falling through the capillaries over your mouth and throat and absorbing immediately. Wow. Now, all the way down your throat, they're being absorbed. It's crazy. I mean, the, the science is amazing. So... Vince, talk to me a little bit about where you see the science of this whole thing going now that uh, different states are starting to, you know, get into this. all and, and it used to be all this stuff used to be referred to as alternative medicine, and now it's basically mainstream. Right. Uh, where, 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 where do you see the, the, the whole thing going with all this? Well, there, there, it's certainly Big Pharma is aggressively getting involved. In fact, uh, GW Pharmaceutical, uh, which is Sativex and Epidiolex, sold yesterday to Jazz Pharmaceutical for $7.2 billion. Wow. And that is the, the first CBD pharmaceutical product. Uh, it was approved for irretractable uh, seizures. If the yeah. medicines on the market couldn't do it, it, it worked. We know CBD works very well for that. Um but there, there's so much more there. The CBN product that we briefly touched on yep. is yep. the best sleep aid you could possibly take. Uh, CBG is an incredible focus factor stimulant that would be far better to take than 
uh, an ADD type of prescription drug. There, there's over 140 known cannabinoids and very little research on many of the minor cannabinoids. We're finding each offers an abundant amount of different effects within the human body. And the great thing is it is all natural. You know, no one's ever died from any amount of cannabis. It's physically yes. impossible. So, you, you know, you, without the side effects, the worst case scenario is it doesn't work. That That's literally it. So yeah. that's, and that's why we're doing these studies to prove it. There was some questions with, with larger doses about liver function that the, the FDA raised. So we immediately started doing liver function studies and, uh, again, be out in about 60 days. These effects are, and try them in, in human and animal studies to prove that this isn't just anecdotal. This isn't Aunt Jane going, "Oh my gosh, I just feel so much better since I take this." We're, you know, going in to prove, you know, this this isn't uh, in Aunt Jane's head. This is truly <laughs> working. Right? And why is it working well? Because it worked with her endocannabinoid system, which immediately started working on inflammation and pain markers and a host of other things. Uh, that the key to all of it is science, and and that's why we do have physicians and researchers and chemists on on staff because it to do it at this level and continue to raise the bar to higher levels. That, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Do you think there ever will come a day where this will be more recognized as a uh, as as a alternative, I guess, to to what Big Farm is pushing, or do you think it's gonna that'll happen well, when Big Pharma buys into it, and makes money off of it? Right. Well, that's just it. You know, we're well on our way there. People are realizing it at this point that hey, yeah. natural plant based products are really the way to go. But guess what? Our forefathers figured that out hundreds of thousands of years ago. Yes. And you know, up until the last century, that if you were taking anything, it was all plant based. And the vast majority of pharmaceuticals, of course, are just plant copies. They've taken the yeah. molecule, altered it in a way that they can patent it. So, you know, if it something like CBD, if you have the technology, anybody could do it, right? Yeah. And so that that's the problem. They, in order to make hundreds of billions of dollars like Big Pharma does, they don't like something that's a commodity. You know, they have yeah. to have that patent and, and get prescriptions and charge ridiculous prices for it. Yeah, uh, we talked about GW Pharmaceutical there briefly. Um, that just got bought out for seven point two billion. Yes. the product they make is is a thirty thousand dollars a year um, to take it. You could use an American Shaman product that actually worked better. That would cost you several hundred dollars a year. Wow. So, yeah, that that gives you an idea of you know the margins and things and then, but big pharma can see the writing on the wall um, and they are again they're aggressively getting into it uh, but they're using the page they're studying the cannabinoids and the structure and then synthetically recreating them and maybe altering you know a carbon bond here or there so that they can then patent it the problem is as we as we said earlier cannabis based cannabinoids not ever in humankind is anyone overdosed it's impossible but there are synthetic groups cannabinoids out there that have killed people uh just a few years ago uh a large pharmaceutical yep. company was doing go ahead no 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 no. i was just agreeing well, with you yeah i was doing a a trial uh, in france and i believe it was 18 of the people died when they ingested it hadn't killed the mice and things that they tested but when it went into humans it was it was like taking cyanide so yeah there's a lot of risk and dangers there um with you know tinkering with mother nature if you will so I, again, I would much, much prefer to simply have this be a supplement that you can use, that your doctor is trained in, uh, that you come in and rather than giving you an ADD drug or an anxiolytic drug for stress or depression or that, that he has these natural alternatives available that he can say, hey, go down to your local store and get boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Well, I always thought that the 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 years of people doing all this and screwing around at some point <laughs> this was all going to get figured out and we were going to be able to just buy this in a store. Right. <laughs> and that's that's it. I mean, that's where we want to keep it. You yeah. Know, we, we want it available to the people 
and affordable, not something that you have to have Blue Cross and Blue Shield for and a co yes. and all that stuff. Yes, yes. We have got a tremendous guest with us today. Vince Sanders joins us today for American Shaman. And um, CBD American Shaman, they are fantastic. And uh, I can't say enough good things about these guys. And um, so talk to me a little bit about the bond that dissolves in the digestive system with no effect for the bioavailability of CBD. Yeah, from when you take an oil-based product? Yes, explain this to us. Freezing up there for a second. Can you hear me? Yes, I've got you, my friend. I've got you loud okay. and clear. It's just kind of glitchy. I'm not sure a problem. It's it's, it's 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 Skype, and you know, Skype was not developed to do international radio programs. It was developed for me to get a hold of Grandma and hold up the hundred dollars that I that right. I got in the mail. But uh, <laughs> but but uh, we have got a, a great guest with us today. He joins us live here in a broadcast, and of course, 2020 and the start of 2021 uh, have been stressful for most of, the, at the very least, and we're dealing with unprecedented times. And for the many unprecedented levels of stress, uh, basically, as Valentine's Day is quickly approaching, it's more important than ever to recognize your partner for everything he or she does and give thanks. And uh, we've got a guy here with us today. Mr. Vince Sanders from CBD American Shaman, who's uh, talking to us a little bit about all the different uh, products and all the different things that CBD offers. So um, this this bond that dissolves in the digestive system. Talk to mm -hmm. us about this bioavailability and the no effect and all the things that are associated with CBD. Okay. Well, back to you know, the bioavailability, uh, again, if you, if you eat an, a, a lipid or a fat, which is what CBD is, or any cannabinoid yeah. is, yeah. It, it, it's a very large particle, and if your body does not get the right enzymes with it to break it down, it's not bioavailable at all. You know, you're looking yeah. at a 6 to 10% bioavailability, but when you break it down, to the molecular level, the nano level that we do, then it never even gets to your your intestines. It's all absorbed by the, within your stomach. It, you know, it's your at max blood levels within 15 minutes. You know, you're within a few minutes, you're pretty high. Um, and I don't mean high. Well, yeah, high, I mean, yeah. The blood levels are high as far as CBD. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that so that's the the difference in in the bioavailability and and how it is absorbed um what was it you had another question besides well the uh i i, I was i was trying to figure out the bond here and how, how it dissolves the digestive system and everything yeah so our bond if it's a nano product is is a surfactant that surrounds it basically builds a little force field around that oil droplet to keep it separate from rejoining another oil droplet so Chemically, think of two fingers or two hairs going opposite directions. One likes oil and yeah. attaches to the oil. The other likes water, so it attaches to the water on the outside. And that keeps it in the in the mix of, of the water. If you don't have that, then you just have that large lipid ball floating in your stomach and, you know, waiting, waiting for your gallbladder to release oh, yeah. uh, the right stuff to break it down. Yeah. We have got a uh, tremendous guest with us today. He joins us today here on our big program. Vince Sanders is with us for American Shaman CBD. And uh, he joins us live here on Skype. And uh, some some of the different things that, that you guys are working on and some of the different products, we've been talking a little bit about that here. Um, talk to me about how CBD and some of the products that you guys have, how it stimulates the tongue's sweetness receptors, basically uh, masking the negative tastes that are often synonymous with nutraceuticals and, and what you guys yes. are doing with CBD and some of the functional beverages and some of the different things you right. guys are working on. So this is real interesting, you know, the science behind it. CBD is actually considered possibly the most bitter thing on earth. <laughs> so that's a, a, it literally is and so the food industry is really struggling with how do you make a product that has cbd and then that isn't just disgusting yes <laughs> and, and, and in all honesty it's something that we struggled with and you know typically you just put it in a small amount of water and shoot it and just get it over with yeah uh, 
so what we have found, and you know, we we came up with the nano process in late 2016, and since then we've been trying to find a way to make it more palatable. In the last six months, we begin to figure out a way with a combination of fruit and vegetable acids that what they do is they lay on your tongue and they block the sour receptors and the bitter receptors. Wow. So as, so as you drink it, you simply don't taste it. It's kind of like a little shield over your, your, uh, That's your awesome. bitter receptors. Yeah, That's awesome. it's amazing. Uh, yeah, we... It was, once we got on that idea, and of course that's back to science, uh, we kind of moved quickly. We, we tried all types of different flavors of things simply to block it or to cover it. or you know, Oh, yeah. To, yeah. So you wouldn't distinguish it. Like, oh, no, that tastes like cherry limeade. No, that tastes like really bitter cherry limeade. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's awesome. You know, it was, you just kind of <laughs> suffered through, and it was just like, I know how important this is. The bitterness goes away pretty, you know, in a matter of seconds. You know, once you get like it and you get used to it, not a big deal. You just pop it down and go. But there are some people who just psychologically struggled with that. So we always kept pursuing it. But we knew that you couldn't just mask it. We were like, you know, you're, yeah. there is really nothing you could put in here strong. If you, in order to mask it, you have to put so much flavoring in there that's too much. Flavoring. Yes. That, that makes it even, yeah, even yes. grosser, right? So that, we we started looking at things and we realized, hey, there are, there are, potential ways to lay substances onto the receptors of your tongue that specifically the bitter receptors to block them so that they don't register a bitter flavor yeah. and once we started to play with that and, and recruit more and more it's again interesting they all came from nature and they they are different acid groups from fruits and vegetables more fruits and vegetables but but both um you know, once we cracked that code, it was amazing. You're like, wow, I'm, you know, I've been taking this product for four years now. And, you know, of course, I'm accustomed to it. No big deal. I only pay attention. But when I drink it with the, the bitter blocker, it's like drinking water. So now That's you have awesome. a product that you can mix with a beverage and it will taste like that beverage. Tremendous. Tremendous. We've yep. got Ben Sanders with us today from American Shaman CBD. He joins us today here on iHeartRadio and also AMFM 247.com. Tune in iTunes. Of course, 50 plus AMFM stations across the country and around the world. Also, we are on internationally live over there in the United Kingdom on Leicester 107.5 FM. And we are also on the Roku via the AMFM 247 broadcast network. And, uh, as we wrap up here with you, Vince, how do we get in touch with you on social media, websites, all these things, take advantage of, of what you guys have? Absolutely. You know, we're on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the typical social media. Uh, our website is cbdamericanshaman.com. Uh, you can visit all the products there. Uh, if you're, God willing, near a store, you can go in and meet a trained professional which is, we have a lengthy course that, that franchisees go through to really have a good grasp of how all this works so when you walk in yeah. and tell them what you're hoping to accomplish can help guide you that way uh that in-store model works incredibly well uh and i would definitely advocate going there if if you're anywhere near a store if not i mean we're not everywhere so that then you certainly can go to the website and we do have customer service that can help walk you through that as well. And again, that website's cbdamericanshaman.com. Fantastic. Well, uh, we are going to take a brief time out. Vince, hold on, my friend. I'm going to put okay. you on hold here on Skype, and uh, I will be right back in touch with you here in just a few seconds. And uh, you can get more information on our website at Build, Grow, and Enjoy.